Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, February 1st. This will be your full length reading on YouTube under Tasha's Divine Guidance. So head over there and watch the full length version when you're finished. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, you can follow the bio in TikTok or the um, description in YouTube. Any issues or concerns, you can send me an email. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. Um, I've already laid out cards for past, present, and future. So I'm going to get started. I also want to say, um, you know, as tarot readers, we are not exempt from pain or healing. Um, yesterday was a really bad day for me, and I, many of you noticed that. Um, but it's not a punishment. God brings things to the surface to make us aware that we need to heal. Heal from deceptive energy. People that we have loved that have deceived us, whether it's lovers, family, or friends, and it's not easy. It's not easy for the readers either. So um, thank you for your love and support. And for those that reached out to me, um, I'm doing much better today. So past energy, you know, you were in a marriage or a long-term commitment where you had no value. This person did not value you. You had value. They didn't value you. In the past energy, uh, they wanted to rush in, but you dropped the burden that they caused you. You didn't have, want to have anything to do because you came to the realization this was not uh, emotionally fulfilling for you. So you listen to your intuition and you blocked communication from this person. Um, in the present energy, you have a soul connection. A soul uh, soulmate coming into your life that is in spiritual alignment with you. Um, you're also still healing. You're in the wounded warrior energy. You are taking your power back, taking control back, loving yourself, um, knowing that Everything that has occurred in your past had nothing to do with you and everything to do with the other broken souls of this world, okay? But nonetheless, it was still things that you needed to learn. You needed to learn to find inner balance. You needed to learn to love yourself first. Um, so you made that choice um, in the present moment. You've made that choice. You have released uh, dominating, controlling energies that only care about money or financial gain or status. Future energy, you are no one's option. You, you'll never have to experience that again because you've already turned your back on the past. You can see from a different perspective those that want to manipulate you. Divine timing was at play for this past energy, this person from your past. Um, you know, they want to come in now and give you an offer, but it's too late. You have moved away from that energy in the near future. You're done because you're listening to God's guidance, okay? You're planting the seeds for your own uh, future. Yeah, you have released deception and heartbreak. This is the near future. You've healed and you've moved on to bigger and better things in your life. Wheels turning in your favor. Amazing new opportunities that lead to financial abundance, success. Um, things overall turning out for you the way that you deserve. Because you are the Empress. This comes out a lot. Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. In your power, loving yourself, knowing your worth and calling in um, amazing things for your future. Yeah, because you had to go through this. You had to go through this awakening, a death and a rebirth, letting things end that were toxic in your life, cutting people out of your life that weren't honest, that weren't honest. So now you know better. Now you know that um, you're not going to give your power away to anyone else. You're gonna keep that power within you. Okay, you don't have any regret. You don't have any sadness about the past. Yes, you have moments where it comes to you and you still need to heal. But overall, you have released this, this pain from the past. You've released it because you're ending the cycle, the cycle of anxiety, of uh, feeling sadness, um, you know, being treated unjustly. Moving forward, you have equal give and take. This is financial abundance as well equal give and take, not accepting offers that are beneath you. You're not stuck anymore. You are completely happy in the near future, completely happy in your power, proud and confident, going after your own dreams and passions. So let's go on to another deck, guys. Ask about the near future. Yeah, being in your power, cutting people away. 
and not not feeling bad about it because you've given them so many chances to do the right thing and they refuse. So yeah, you're you're not worried about it. You're moving on. Um, you know, you're defending yourself against people that try to be sneaky. You're not entertaining anyone's energy that you can't trust. You're taking a brand new leap of faith in, in the near future. A new beginning. It's a new beginning in love. A soul connection. It's coming out of another deck. A new beginning in love. Um, <laughs> And it's after a period of you being proud and confident and in this independent energy, you are the lady of luxury, the nine of pentacles. You're in your power and you're well taken care of. There is nothing that you want or need. The universe makes sure that you have all that you need and desire. Um, you're following your own passions and this passionate new beginning is leading to a lot of recognition uh, moving forward. For all that you do to help other people, ace of swords, victory and truth and clarity. You will be victorious. If you can manifest it, you have you can have it. It's yours. And it's because you went through this awakening, right? You went through this spiritual awakening. You learned to love yourself. And you followed your own dreams and passions. Yeah, your financial abundance security is coming in. And it's directly related to... A passion it leads to stability also um, stable friendships stable partnerships um, I also see some of you could be purchasing a new home complete happiness moving forward another deck the Sun two decks complete happiness future No longer feeling like you weren't good enough. No longer accepting the projection from other people that in some way you deserved what was dealt to you, which was the Ten of Swords pain and closing the cycle out. Completing the cycle because you are the Empress. Again, you are the Empress in your power, proud, confident, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and uh, two ducks both saying, you are a divine being, whether you're a man or a woman, you're the empress, and there's nothing you can't do, nothing. Yeah, because you went through this transformation, it took a lot of strength and courage. Um, and things are changing in a big way, a big way. Look, divine partnerships coming in, emperor and empress, a divine match coming into your life. Wow. Overcoming conflict from other people, walking away, not letting it affect your energy, just having the strength and courage to walk away from other people's drama. Finding balance. Finding balance after, um, and being able to forgive whoever hurt you. You know, this is gonna bring balance into your life. Being able to forgive and release these past dark energies. Um, and that's going to take you into this positive forward movement. Things really changing in a big way for you. Listening to your intuition. Again, high priestess, two decks. You are highly intuitive and now you are listening to your intuition. Um, not relying on just someone's word because now you know people lie. They lie. They lie, they cheat, they steal. Um, you have a new opportunity coming in. This is career-wise. Um, and it's directly linked to following your own dreams and passions. Um, when you do that, you have financial abundance coming. What you have put out into the world is coming back to you equally. So, soul connection. Again, soul connection, which is awesome. Someone that will be in alignment with you, that will be your equal. Someone that does not play head games, does not cheat, lie, or steal. But someone that is on your emotional, spiritual, physical level. Okay, let's get um, advice cards. Advice cards for moving forward. We don't want to look at the past anymore. Okay, that's awesome. It's up to you. 
be in your power, okay? You need to be in that Empress energy, loving yourself, knowing your worth. It's up to you. Is you healing what you need to heal from? The situation is going to improve. There's going to be a big change in the next few months, guys, and it's success. This can be a new career opportunity. This can be a windfall of money. Um, but this is coming in the next few months, and it's meant... Um, to reward you for all that you've been through. God is bringing people into your life that are meant to help you, guide you, and you need to let go. Let go of control issues. Let God take care of it. Um, and everything will work out just as it should in an amazing way for you, a way that you can't even imagine. So I hope this reading helped you guys. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.